Hey, what's up? So let's now try to make things faster by implementing all the other tabs so we can proceed uh, with much more uh, deeper examples. So first thing, we need to implement the users tab. So this should be fast. So just copy this and paste it again here and rename it as users and come here and this as users. This should be users cards. Yes, change. This will of course change it here. I think I think if this could be your own exercise. So I'll get the users. Of course, I will name my key for this slice also users, and this will happen here. And this will be export as users from users like this. And I'll come here and oops and export the users. So of course we are not finished. We need to go to the to this and rename it, rename it as users slice. Yes, update any other references. This reference. So first thing we need to change this to users. Now fetch users data and let's go to see the endpoints users groups and this will be here and of course change these references it's the same thing here everywhere and let's change this to users slice um i think yeah in the cars we will go to the users then data and here we will change some things. For example, in the user's response, we don't have these kind of things, so I will change it. So I'm just trying to cheat from the original code. So yeah, it's something like this. One second. So ID, name, and email. Now the last thing we need to change this to fetch users data and put it here. This you can give it like this, it won't matter, but rename it. Because we are exporting it as a default and renaming it in the index. You exported that here. The only thing left is to add a reducer here. Or the reducers. So users reducer from go to features then users then user slice so this would be users should work with no use hopefully of course so I'll click on inspect so let's go to redux we should see three three keys in our state maybe we need to refresh As you can see. So go to dashboard, everything is fine. Go to users. Yeah, of course, uh, in our app, we should display the users like we did in the dashboard, right? So let's go to the features now, import the users component and duplicate this and change this to users. It should work. As you can see, these are our users. I think this will do it. Yeah, we don't need action to implement other tabs. Or we or do we, I think. To be honest, I'm not quite sure, but maybe I will implement uh, I'll, I will implement the other two without recording it. This could be like a, a recap, I'm not sure. But uh, just to make the other uh, code snippets that I will show you to work, like canceling and stuff like that, and handling errors. I want to show you this case where the user will keep clicking on all of these. I don't want to see to see or the following case to happen. Let me show you the problem. So go to the network tab. So let's click on everything, just like this. I mean, look at the network tab. I mean, all of these I don't to be honest, I'm not I don't even care about them. And look at the state. It will update so many times with no purpose at all because I'm not even on these two. I'm on the reports. But because I clicked on this so many times, 
then I hit repost. I should only see the repost that everything here should be like irrelevant, should not happen. So this is what canceling is about. And we will, uh, of course, see that with the help of the delay uh, command that I showed you. This one. It will help us simulate that in a good way. So yeah, that's it. Uh, see you in the next video.